Hi, welcome to another PhotoLink video. Uh, this one is going to be enlargement, enlarging with uh, the Liquid Rescale plugin, which is available in the GIMP plugin registry at uh, www.gimp.org. Um, and uh, basically, it's a tool that's used to selectively resize parts of the image while remain while maintaining uh, the accuracy and the dimensional characteristics of other parts of the image. Courtesy of a friend of ours in Ireland, whose name is Mark, he sent us this lovely picture of his daughter. And what we'd like to do at this point is um, we would like to enlarge the background, totally enlarge the image, like let's say by 150 pixels or so. And we'd like his daughter and these birds to remain the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and when the liquid uh, um, the liquid rescale plugin is installed, it appears in the uh, layer dialog, and it appears down here. And uh, when we click on it, we get a uh, rescale plugin dialog. Uh, without going into too much detail, we're going to go into a, a, the output. Select output on a new layer, resize the image cam canvas, and uh, output the seams onto a layer. And uh, we're going to go here and to select the uh, detail that we do not want uh, resized, we select a preservation mask. So we click on here, new, which uh, creates a transparent layer on top of the image. Uh, automatically says selects of the layer, uh, this green color in our paintbrush tool. Now what we're going to do is first of all, we should probably, we could have done this before, but we're going to select an image size, a new image width, our output width of 900. So I'll move this down here so we can see what we're doing. Now as, as I said a second ago, uh, what this has done is this selected, this has selected the uh, preservation mask, which is going to appear over our image. We're going to take our paintbrush, and with this uh, color, we're going to color over the areas of our image, which we do not um, want resized. So we're going to come up here and draw over Mark's lovely daughter. Which we have, now we've indicated we do not want his daughter resized. We're going to make our brush slightly smaller. And we're going to come over here and color over the birds. So to repeat what we've done, uh, we went into our liquid scale dialog. We selected a new width. Uh, we, we, we defined a feature presentation or preservation mask. That's feature preservation mask. And we selected a new one, which creates a new layer. Went into our output and defined, selected everything except scale back to original size. And there's our result. So now if we click reflat, refresh, it updates the image in the dialog. And the other thing that we have to do now is uh, click OK. And it draws it, applies the changes. And if you'll notice, we're going to come over here to our windows. Let's get this out of the way. Basically, I'm going to turn these off. Here was our original image. Here's what we selected on top, but it's been rescaled as part of the image. Originally, it was just covering the girl and the seagulls. Um... Basically, here is where it has carved out the seams in the image. Basically, what, um, 
What I mean by carving the seams is it has defined areas that it wishes to expand without uh, each one of these lines it's going to expand on without um, expanding uh, on the original image. If you notice, there are no seams in the original image. So now, there's the result. So here, we are a little over 150 pixels wider. Okay, there is the new image. Here's the old image. And there's the new image with our extra background added to it. Um, very, very powerful tool. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more videos on this tonight. One is going to be, uh, next one's going to be image reduction and removing details. Um, and there are all kinds of things that you can do with it. And then we'll get into uh, uh, vertical and horizontal alignment or enlargement and some other areas. I thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you have some images you'd like me to work on, please uh, send them to uh, uh, J-O-E-G, that's Joe G, at F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com. That's Joe G at photolink dot com. Uh, and please visit the site uh, www dot photolink, F-O-T-O, L-I-N-Q dot com for more videos, more discussion on photography and GIMP. And I thank you very much for watching. And again, uh, thanks for uh, letting us borrow the image, Mark. Thank you. Have a good day.